Joe Lisi live at the 2015 Boomer Esiason Empire State Challenge. I'm here with former Syracuse and NFL linebacker Marlon Greenwood. Marlon, how are you today? Man, I'm doing great. You know, I'm just enjoying. I'm just enjoying coming back here to the the, the Empire Challenge held by the Boomer Esiason Foundation and just watching these kids compete, kind of just have me reminiscing about a time when I played in game in, in 1996 and it's just absolutely amazing how the game has evolved and how great it's doing right now. It's a great atmosphere here. Tell me about this atmosphere and watching this game evolve and play, coming back with your former teammates in this game. Man, it's, you know, first of all, you know, it's great seeing everybody uh, that we played with, my teammates, over, everybody that represented Long Island and just seeing them. And one of the things they talk about is how fast the time flew by, you know, how fast 20 years of just uh, uh, flew by. And talking about this game, I remember the first time I played in the game uh, and I was very, very happy that Boomer, you know, kind of gave us like what we should expect, you know, going into college and actually going into the pros. Like I remember I was on, I was on a TV in the morning, you know, and I wasn't, I, that was my first time ever on a big TV program. And, you know, Boomer exposed me to that and, and I was very, I was very appreciative for that, for, for him giving me that experience for the first time. And it, it, it was just an overall great experience, you know, being on TV and, and, and all those things. You know, just all those other things to watch NFL players, you know, from high school and, you know, you know, from high school, you don't really get that. This is kind of like the same type of atmosphere they try to give to these all-stars. This game propelled you to an outstanding career in Syracuse, 48 consecutive starts, an all-Big East selection. Talk to me about your time in college and how it prepared you for a life in the NFL. Well, you know, uh, you know, you're exactly right. This, this game was one of the games that uh, propelled me in, into college. And, you know, starting 48 consecutive games, uh, you know, I give it off to uh, Coach Paul Pascaloni. You know, he was a very, uh, he was a very good co coach. You know, he, he had a great work ethic. And, you know, he just, he told us about just oh, no. working hard. One of the things that he told us about uh, that was uh, football. One of the things that was on our shirts when we went there was football is life. But a lot of people thought, well, uh, football is my life. What, what does that mean? But it meant that football is going to prepare you for life situations and how to deal with it. You know, in, in football, you, we learn how to play at a high level. We learn how to be accountable. You know, we, we, we learn how to overcome adversity, how to deal with, deal with success and how to uh, bounce back from defeat. You know, all those things I learned, I, I learned playing, playing football in high school and at another level in, in college which helped us prepare us for, for the NFL. You know, when I went to the NFL, you know, I was glad that I went to Syracuse. We worked very hard. I, I remember one time we had three weeks of tour days. <laughs> I don't think we ever had that in the NFL. <laughs> so, but besides that, and just, you know, you know, playing with great coaches, Coach Ed Ogeron, who, who recruited me, you know, uh, uh, um, to Syracuse, Coach Paul Pascaloni, you know, all the different coaches up there, Coach Adazio, uh, Coach William Hitz, his strength and conditioning coach, who's still up there now, you know, just did an unbelievable job in the weight room and everything. And, you know, I, I'm, I have a great memory at Syracuse. It's incredible. I know you started the Marlon Greenwood Foundation. You're doing great things, talking and mentoring youth today. Tell me about some of the great things that you have going on with your foundation. Well, the Marlon Greenwood Foundation was, uh, started with, with me and Robert T. Green, who, who, was, uh, who was a member of my, the Freeport, uh, my, my, uh, Freeport, my free, Freeport teammate in, in high school. And uh, the Marlon Greenwood Foundation, you know, we're having our first, we're having our first football camp July 10th. And one of the things that we want to do is to kind of give back to the community. One of the reasons why I didn't start the foundation before, because I was playing football and, you know, and I was busy. And, and when you start a foundation, you want to make sure that you're actively involved in it, that you have the time to, to, so the kids can actually see you and they can actually reach out and see that you're a real person <laughs> and that they can achieve the same thing too. If they work hard and they dedicate themselves and they, they actually uh, um, uh, be disciplined enough to, to, uh, to um, follow their dreams and, and to work hard toward that. So that's what the foundation is all about. It's all about bringing a, a, a group of kids, a group of kids together, letting them know that they could, they could do whatever they want to do in life, that they can accomplish it as long as they believe in themselves, they will achieve it. You know. This place is rocking. This is Joe Lisi. Great insight from a great player at the 2015 Boomer Esiason Empire State Challenge.